The puppet is a reoccurring character throughout the Five Nights at Freddy's series and plays a major role in the games. The puppet seems to have been created for Fredbear's Family Diner or an early Freddy Fazbear's Pizza location. Regardless of the establishment, Fazbear Entertainment was owned by Henry Emily and William Afton. The puppet was tasked with keeping Henry's daughter Charlie safe. Charlie wore a green wristband that the puppet would use to identify her, and if the puppet noticed her trying to leave the pizzeria, it would stop her. However, one night some kids trapped the puppet in its box and locked Charlie outside the pizzeria. The puppet managed to break out of its box and traveled outside to find Charlie. However, the puppet was too late. Charlie was killed by Willie Maffin, whose tire tracks can be seen from when he fled the crime scene. The puppet breaks down in the rain and collapses over Charlie's corpse, and Charlie possesses the puppet. In 1985, Willie Mapton committed a set of murders at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza using the Spring Bonnie suit. It's never directly stated in the games, but judging from the books and movie continuity, Willie Mapton hid the kids' bodies in the animatronic suits. The puppet, now possessed by Charlie, gives the dead kids' spirits life, allowing them to possess the animatronics. We learn from the puppet's voice lines in Ultimate Custom Night that the children's spirits are under her protection, and she's more aware than the other souls. The others are like animals. But I am very aware. After a while, Freddy's was closed. Sometime later, the new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza was opened. The original animatronics had parts taken from them and were left to rot in parts and services. To replace the original animatronics, the more friendly looking toy animatronics were created and tied to a criminal database to prevent any more tragedies. This didn't exactly work. In the Save the Minigame, Withered Freddy follows the puppet across the pizzeria, finding corpses scattered everywhere. The puppet presumably gave life to this new set of victims, and they possessed the toy animatronics. In 1987, the events of Five Nights at Freddy's 2 occur. The puppet is inside the music box during the main gameplay, and if the player doesn't keep the music box wound up, the puppet will emerge and jump scare them. Phone Guy also mentions that the puppet is always thinking, likely meaning he's aware of her sentience. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. In the game's ending, the pizzeria is closed after the bite of 87. After the closure of the new Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 location was opened, and judging from the dream sequences in Five Nights at Freddy's 2, the puppet was in this location. This location also closes, and sometime later, William Afton returns to disassemble the possessed animatronics. However, this releases their souls from the animatronic bodies. Along with the souls from the destroyed animatronics, another spirit appears to confront Afton. It's speculated that this spirit is either the puppet or Golden Freddy. Regardless, the spirit chases William Afton into a spring bonnie suit. The spring locks holding the animatronic parts fail and crush Willie Mafton inside the suit, turning him into Springtrap as the souls vanish. Years later in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Springtrap is found and put in Fazbear's Fright, a horror attraction based on the tragedies that occurred at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. During the main gameplay, the puppet's mask can be seen on Cam 8, and sometimes the puppet will appear on this camera. This is followed by the phantom puppet appearing in the office and blocking the player's vision. The phantom puppet is a hallucination, and seemingly not the actual puppet. The puppet plays a bigger role in the minigames. In Mangle's Quest, there's a giant shadow puppet crying. If the player gives cake to Afton's victims across the minigames, they can play as the puppet and give Golden Freddy's spirit named Cassidy her happiest day. After giving Cassidy her happiest day, all of Afton's victims disappear. Their masks fall to the floor and balloons rise up, likely signifying their spirits passing on. The placement of happiest day isn't universally agreed upon. Some people think it happens during Five Nights at Freddy's 3's gameplay. And some think it happens after Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, regardless it happens in this game. In Five Nights at Freddy's 3's ending, Fazbear's Fright burns down, but Springtrap survives and escapes. It also seems like the puppet escapes into the world. Sometime after this, Henry creates Lefty, an animatronic bear whose purpose is to capture the puppet. Lefty's name stands for Lure, Encapsulate, Fuse, Transport, and Extract. Lefty was designed with a false sensory output, which I assume connects to Charlie's bracelet code that the puppet was designed to track. Eventually, Lefty captured the puppet inside its suit. The puppet's arm is even visible inside Lefty in a game over cutscene. Lefty provided steady voltage to keep the puppet soothed. With the puppet now sealed inside Lefty, she was taken to Pizza Place, a new Freddy's location that Henry and Mike laughed and opened as a trap for the remaining animatronics. In Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, Lefty can either be salvaged or purchased. After collecting Lefty, he will appear in the office gameplay and will kill the player if he reaches the office. In the true ending, Michael Afton collects all the animatronics, which along with the puppet includes Circus Baby, Molten Freddy, and Willie Mapton. Henry burns everyone inside Pizza Place in an attempt to finally put everyone to rest. As the Pizza Place burns, Henry addresses the puppet. My daughter, if you can hear me, I knew you would return as well. It's in your nature to protect the innocent. I'm sorry that on that day, the day you were shut out and left to die, no one was there to lift you up into their arms the way you lifted others into yours. And then, what became of you? I should have known you wouldn't be content to disappear. Not my daughter. I couldn't save you then. So let me save you now. It's time to rest, for you, and for those you have carried in your arms. 
This ends for all of us in communication. In the lore keep ending, the tombstones of the missing children are shown, and there's a grave overlooking them, likely Charlie's since she watched over the children. In Ultimate Custom Night, Willie Mafton is being tormented by one of his victims, and the puppet and Lefty are selectable enemies. In this game, the puppet can speak after jump scaring the player. I don't hate you, but you need to stay out of my way. I recognize you, but I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. The others are under my protection. Seeing you powerless is like music to me. It's unlikely that the puppet in this game contains Charlie's soul. It's likely just a recreation made by the spirit tormenting Afton. In the Fazbear's Frights book series, it's revealed that William Afton is barely clinging on to life following the aftermath of Henry's trap. One of Afton's victims, Andrew, is keeping Afton alive to make him suffer, and it's implied he's the one tormenting Afton in Ultimate Custom Night. Later, Andrew and William Afton's souls end up in the Stitch Wraith animatronic with another spirit named Jake, a young boy who died from cancer. Afton's spirit leaves the Stitch Wraith's body, and with the assistance of an agony monster named Eleanor, he creates a giant amalgamation of animatronics. Detective Larson takes the puppet's mask to try to communicate with the Stitch Wraith, but he takes it upon himself to fight the Afton amalgamation. The puppet reawakens during the fight and tells Larson to take her to Afton. Larson drives a forklift into Afton and sees the puppet's black and white stripes in the bag. The bag containing the puppet's mask is pulled into the Afton amalgamation, and Larson sees a black and white striped arm being pulled into Afton's leg. Eleanor eventually realizes Afton's fighting a losing battle and abandons him. The Afton amalgamation begins to collapse, and Afton notices the puppet's mask on his body, which now appears satisfied and victorious. The puppet hijacks the Afton amalgamation and has it tear itself apart. Afton screams as the amalgamation collapses into the lake. The last piece of the amalgamation that sinks below the water is the puppet's mask, finally put to rest after William Afton's demise. The puppet has an appearance as a video game character in Help Wanted and a couple of small references in Security Breach. The puppet's mask is also part of the Tangle, a giant amalgamation of animatronics underneath the Pizza Plex. In Help Wanted 2, the puppet and Lefty are in the Vanny Network's employee training levels. To get the Princess Quest 4 ending, the player needs to collect the memories of Afton's victims, including Charlie. In the Puppet Master level, if the player types 1983 into a keypad, a drawer opens and Glitch Trap gives the player the Puppet Memory Plush. In Princess Quest 4, the Puppet Memory Plush is with the other memories alongside their graves. To unlock a secret Bonnie mask, the player has to light the graves in the order of Chica, Foxy, Freddy, Bonnie, Golden Freddy, and then the Puppet. The significance of this order is never made clear, but it's likely the order the souls moved on in. The main four spirits were likely put to rest after Happiest Day and Pizzeria Simulator. Golden Freddy seems to move on at the end of Ultimate Custom Night and leaves Afton to be tormented by Andrew. And the puppet is put to rest after defeating Afton and Fazbear's Frights. Charlie seems to have been put to rest for good, but it's still nice to have some puppet cameos throughout the newer games. The puppet also has an appearance in the cut Fazbear's Fright story You're the Band, and in the novel continuity and older Charlie's the main character, but those aren't important to the puppet's story in the games. If you want a story video about Charlie in the novels, be sure to let me know. She has a pretty interesting story as well. If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my other Five Nights at Freddy's videos. If you're a fan of horror games, I also have Bendy and Poppy Playtime videos on my channel. We also have a variety of upcoming content, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. If you want to support me and help fund future videos, please consider donating to our Ko-Fi. Thanks for watching, and check out some of my other videos.